Joining us now is George Karunas, a global explorer and a storm chaser. George, thanks for taking some time to talk to us tonight. I know that you chase everything from tornadoes to volcanoes to hurricanes. I was even looking at your website in a cage surrounded by great white sharks. Uh, so first off, uh, what do you, why do you do it and uh, what drives you to do it? Well, I, I'm very passionate about uh, extremes of nature and studying the patterns and the extreme things like volcanoes and, and tornadoes, hurricanes, icebergs and polar regions, uh, the, the places that uh, not many people get the opportunity to see because it's too difficult or sometimes too dangerous. I was looking at your website. We're looking at some pictures of you here doing storm chasing, and it wasn't uh, too long ago that you were chasing a tornado in Oklahoma, it got a little too close for comfort. Tell us about that incident. Uh, yeah, that ha that's happened a few times, uh, actually. Uh, one time at night, this tornado basically uh, overtook us. Uh, debris was flying everywhere, pieces of metal roofing, garbage cans, exploding transformers right beside the car that I was in. Uh, luckily, we were safe, but I wouldn't want to go through that again. You know, storm chasing has, has really changed in the 20 years that you've done it. And I think you'll agree that it's become a lot more widespread. A lot of people that uh, don't have the kind of experience that, that you have or even a meteorology background are out on the roads and, and out trying to intercept these, these dangerous storms. Have you seen that, that change over the last few years, just more people out on the roadway, especially in the Plain States? Yeah, absolutely. I've been doing this since the 90s, and back then, everybody knew everybody and now there's hundreds and hundreds of storm chasers out there because the technology has gotten so much easier uh, with smartphones and mobile data coverage being so widespread and sometimes on some of these these storms and these tornadoes you can run into traffic jams yeah. out on these country roads in places like kansas and nebraska because there are just so many storm chasers all trying to get to the same place at the same time well, you mentioned technology, how it is making it easier for the, you know, the armchair meteorologist to get out there and do it. In your two decades of looking at the data and looking at the weather patterns and being on the ground, have you noticed a change in the weather patterns? Are we seeing more severe weather? Well, certainly the types of severe weather that we're seeing are, are changing. Last uh, summer, we had the busiest hurricane season on record. Uh, right now, for tornadoes, we're in the, the, the peak of tornado season right now, the end of May and to the beginning of June. And the United States gets about 75% of the world's tornadoes, between 800 to 1,200 per year. And what we're starting to see is a potential shift in Tornado Alley. Instead of being in places like Kansas, Nebraska, and uh, Oklahoma, in 10 years from now, we may be seeing more of these tornadoes a little bit further east into the more densely populated places. So that's certainly concerning. Yeah, it used to be Oklahoma City and Topeka, the, the capital of, of tornadoes, and now it's more like Birmingham and Memphis and Nashville. Uh, Alabama, Mississippi, Tennessee, these places, exactly. Right. Out of everything that you've chased, we mentioned that you've been to active volcanoes, you've been to the, the Arctic Circle. Out of everything that you've seen, tornadoes and hurricanes, what, what's been your favorite a spot, a favorite event that you've covered? Um, well, interestingly, just in the news recently, there was a volcano that erupted in the Congo and a river of lava poured into the city wow. of Goma. A few years ago, I was at that volcano and repelled about 1,200 feet down Whoa. into the bottom of that volcano and stood right at the edge of the world's largest lake of lava that was the size of a football field. And to be there was just unbelievable. George, you're a braver man than me. I love to hear your stories, though. George Thank Karunas, you. thanks for taking some time to talk to us tonight on, uh, on News Nation. And uh, stay safe as the season is just now ramping up uh, across the central plains. Have a good night. Will do. Thank you.